Steve Alford has a Baker's dozens of victories against Air Force. That means his 15th ranked Lobos are still in sole possession of first place in the Mountain West. All five Lobos starters would score double figures in this one. Alex Kirk getting the action started inside. Two for the Lobos there. Nine of five Lobos. Kirk would have 14 points and eight rebounds. Cameron Bairstow also working it inside. Coach said he likes going inside out. Bairstow 14 points. Lobos up by seven. Tony Snell, the three-pointer. 33 to 19, Lobos, Snell also 14 points on the night. Kendall Williams, a pair of deep threes, but this time he defers to Hugh Greenwood. 13 points for Hugh, Lobos up 42 to 29 at the break. That lead would build in the second half as Kendall Williams would come out and stroke the J. He had 11 points. Falcons would cut a 20 point advantage to six, but Jamal Fenton had some key baskets and Alex Kirk would own the inside and the Lobos would get the 81 to 58 victory. Lobos now 20 and three on the season. 7-1 and one in conference play. Now, the Lobos had the shooting touch from three-point land while Air Force struggled. The real difference, points in the paint where the Lobos nearly doubled up the Falcons. Um, held them to 29 points both halves, make more free throws than they shoot. Uh, I thought we dominated the glass. I, I thought it was a really good performance by our guys and uh, very pleased. But It's a tough season, and I think we've been very successful, and I think that does mean we've, we, we've proven our toughness, and we just got to keep on doing that. Lobos are at UNLV Saturday. The Rebels lost tonight. 